This pattern of staggered sell-offs with a clawback in the last couple of minutes of the session continues on this Friday. One thing is clear, this is the worst October for stocks since 2008. Now, I want you to read this tweet on that news. Check the date here. October 11th, former hedge fund manager and now Bitcoin bull Mike Novogratz writing, quote, I think, again, this is October 11th, I think there is significant chance we've put cycle highs in for the U.S. stock markets, inflation, rates higher, Dems winning the House, possibly, I would imagine he put that in, terrible breadth, and now fang cracking, sell rallies. Mike Novogratz is former head of Fortress Investment and now founder and CEO of Galaxy Digital here in a Fox Business exclusive. What did you see back a couple of weeks ago that prompted you to put that tweet, which now looks promisingly prescient? You know, rates onto broke Twitter. 3%. Mm -hmm. And all year they've been kind of going to 3%, almost breaking in, coming back. And then we, we decisively broke 3%. Uh, right around the same time, Amazon announced $15 minimum wage. The Fed announced that they're going to keep tightening, that they're going to have to tighten through neutral. Uh, and that, you know, you've got rates, you know, becoming a headwind. Uh, at the same time, we were coming into an election where most likely the Dems win the House. You know, at that point, I was thinking they had even more momentum than they have now. And so you've had the Trump trade go on for a long time uh, when he's had both House and Senate. And if you have a Democrat House, it is going to just be noise and noise and noise. And so the Trump agenda gets muted some. You know, we say Novogratz bull challengers, but you and I were talking and you said the pillars that have held up this very strong market are starting to crumble. You talked about rates punching through that 3% ceiling. We're still there, although I think at this point the treasuries had, had been falling over the past couple of days. You talked specifically about all the other issues that you see for this market, but what are the trades now that you think are at their peaks that people should exit? Well, listen, I think you're going to see a continued roll out of tech uh, just because that's where everybody was. Mm -hmm. And so if you look at what happened to Alibaba in China when it first cracked, it goes a lot further than people think. It's a great company and it will come back, but people are all along it. I went to some trader dinners and everybody had the same trades. And so people are going to get out, get out of Google, they're going to get out of Apple, mm -hmm. they're going to get out of... Again, these are the peak trades that everybody yeah. was in. They were also uh, long U.S. equities, maybe short emerging markets. That, that, that trade was the single biggest. That was the Trump trade, right? It was make America great again. And so you were long in the U.S. and you were short EM. And that thing has had a, a multi-standard deviation move. And you're going to see that unwind. And so even like the emerging market currencies, like the Turkish lira and the Brazilian rei, they, they're rallying in this risk-off which tells you that everyone was long. Uh, and so I think you're seeing an unwind of positions that have been built up over a long time. But when people unwind positions, they either go to cash or they go somewhere else. Where do you see them going, Mike? I think first, first move is to cash. Uh, and then second move is to look for things like EM. I mean, EM looks very cheap right now. Emerging markets. I want to talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin. October 31st marks its 10th birthday. You had thought it would go up to 40,000, then you made the call uh, around 9,000. Where are you now? Make your newest Bitcoin call right here. Well, listen, first of all, 10 years ago, some guy had this idea and wrote a paper and this, this concept that you could create a digital currency and a digital store of wealth. 10 years forward, it's got $130 billion of market cap. Uh, David Swinson from Yale, maybe the most respected investor in the space, well. is, is, is moving into crypto and has made an investment. And so it's kind of a miracle to sit back that someone could just create that. So I think we should kind of mark that moment. Uh, listen, the last few months, Bitcoin has been boring, uh, which is funny to say, right? Volatility in the last two weeks, I think, has been 8%. Mm -hmm. And so we're kind of stuck between waiting for the institutional crowd to come, and they are coming. When? Next, next year? I would bet first or second quarter. I mean, we had Goldman Sachs talk about being involved. Fidelity just announced that uh, they're getting into custody. That starts in January. Uh, ICE has a company called Bact, you know, the, the, the big exchange company. That starts in December. And so we made an investment in a company called BitGo with, with Goldman that yeah. does security. So all the pillars that you need for institutions to come in are being put in place. Mike Novogratz, he's going for the Bitcoin trade, and we'll, we will see. We'll watch for those institutions. You were prescient on that tweet. Thank you so much for joining us.